भद्रम कर्णी भी सिनुआम देवा भद्रम पश्चिम अक्षपी जजत्रा स्थिर रंगई तुष्टुवांशस्तनु भी वैशे मदेव हितम जदायु ओम शांति 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 ही मे वी हियर थ्रू अर इयर्स व्हाट इज गुड एंड स्पिरिचुअल मे वी सी थ्रू आईज व्हाट इज नोबल एंड अपटिप्टिंग मे वी गो बियॉन्ड डार्कनेस एंड इल्यूशन एंड रियलाइज द ट्रूथ इन दिस लाइफ ओम पीस 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 बी एंड टू अस पीस बी एंड ऑल मैन काइंड हरि ओम हरि ओम हरि ओम तत्स Uh, friends, uh, uh, Swami Swahananda, in the dining table, requested me to speak about Swami Bigyanananda. A dream that I, that I had about him, Swami Bigyanananda, one of the direct disciples of. Uh, of sri ramakrishna i i did not want to forget that and that is the reason i start with that dream <clears throat> when i was connected with the center shami prabhuman on the requested me i was his assistant to go to santa barbara after the lecture on sunday and come back probably on tuesday i returned from santa barbara then i had a dream that i had, in the dream i i went to allahabad the center which shami began on the start then he invited me for food the the cook name called beni he was serving me i found uh, so i began to took lots of food and also a good amount of food was given to me i uh, i said to so i began the maharaj the maharaj if uh, please uh, half of the things should be taken away he said no Uh, 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 let the food remain as it is. Uh, then afterwards he said to me, uh, "I was eating." Uh, he said, "You lick, you eat like a bird." And how will we be able to work in America? You must be very strong. But so I began. I was eating quite. Heartily, and I, I, I said to Maharaj, "One who eats a good lot will die young." <laughs> and it, it, it immediately, this, this thought came to my mind. He is a disciple of Sri Ramakrishna. You are uh, talking in a most in, uh, irreverent way. That is not good of you. You should apologize. And then I, I, I said to him, in dream, Maharaj. Sri Ram Krishna has chosen you to instruct me of something which I need. I will please excuse me for talking back. I I will do my best to follow your instruction. And please bless me so that I can gain health of mind and the health of the spirit so here you see dreams of an illumined soul can give us inspiration can give us strength can give us encouragement but we need something definite and when now i think we need something definite we think in terms of renunciation because western civilization is predominantly a dualistic civilization 
it has great charm it great beauty but this on account of this dualistic situation it has created a distinction between sacred and secular between good and evil between life and death between time and timelessness between samsara and nirvana and therefore west needs what i call aparabhidya west has specialized in aparabhidya in scientific knowledge is theological knowledge but this is not sufficient to give the western man or western woman spiritual awakening which will help the individual to realize his true nature or and this true nature is not finite is not sinful is not limited its true nature is divine its true nature is unlimited its true nature is immortal and uh, although I, i have to keep something for s- saying tomorrow <laughs> 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 this is only this is only i have said and that is I, if you don't misunderstand me the boat of east western civilization has sprung a leak <laughs> in a leak means paradox the boat of western civilization has sprung a leak <laughs> uh, means paradox because you have accepted reason to be the supreme court of appeal the, uh, the dining hall the yesterday perhaps one one scholar asked me this question who is your greatest philosopher and then he mentioned that uh, western philosopher because i studied philosophy was my uh, favorite philosopher was plato yeah. and uh, why did i say plato is the greatest because white is oh, white has remarked all the philosophers of the plato have written footnotes to plato but uh, plato uh, has made reason the supreme court of appeal you see but it, it is a uh, kant who says uh, uh, it is hume who has awakened me from my dogmatic slumber in other words reason if you accept reason to to be the key to the solution of all problems then you are bound to create a distinction between subject and the object between what i call Uh, drik and drishya seer and the seen because again from the uh, point of uh, take for example the, the descartes descartes uh, has used his fall father of modern philosophy um, uh, he used an expression you see cogito argo sum i thought because he is a french philosopher this is french <laughs> but this is not french uh, uh, this is latin you see uh, although i i uh, there was one michael berry he, uh, he taught me a friends a little uh, therefore i uh, one uh, brahmachari from from holland you see he he said do you know french he said yes he comes from greece i said c'est la vie and bibala compania and then he spoke something but i didn't know too much you see yeah? so i did not want to uh, show my ignorance yes. so anyway yeah, it is it is decorated that uh, we have to find called cartesian dualism this this the word the, the cartes you have created a distinction between you don't make any distinction between mind and spirit you have created a distinction between matter and mind Huh? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so anyway, I think there. I doubt. Therefore, I think. I think. Therefore, I exist. You see, uh, but uh, 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 Descartes has put the cart before the horse. I exist first. Then, when you identify with the mind or intellect, they they call bhitti chaitanya. Means uh, my ego connects with the thought waves of the mind, but. pure consciousness must be conscious always uh, and uh, that is the called witness consciousness uh, kapila calls his witness consciousness and uh, uh, 
Shankaracharya also is Nitya Chaitanya, eternal consciousness. Therefore, you have to transcend. When Swami Vivekananda came to this country, he, he, uh, he found this, this kind of conflict between reason and faith, you see. The reason is the key to the solution of all problems to all the scientists. And faith in revelation is the solution of all theologians. So today, therefore, uh, I will speak how I... Uh, 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 how I inspired to be a monk, you see. Although it is Swami Brahmananda who gave me inspiration, uh, but after the Mahasamadhi of uh, uh, Holy Mother, uh, Holy, Holy, Raspberry Maharaj, uh, Holy Mother one day, uh, one time when I went, you see, uh, at the time of initiation, I did not know the, the, the protocol, what to be done. It is Raspberry who has asked me that, uh, did you sanctify your mala, means beads, uh, be, through your guru called Holy Mother, you see. Uh, I said, no, I do not know the method, but Holy Mother uh, showed me how to do japa, means with fingers. No, no, mala is necessary. Yeah. Rosary, they call rosary, or beads. There are, would you kindly help me? Uh, then you give me money, I will buy. So we went. Uh, and then, uh, then they, uh, after two days I came, you see. The, then Holy Mother sanctified the beads. Um, and then, um, then Swami uh, Arupananda said to me, uh, uh, I have examined the beads, they are, very, they are all very strong beads, mature beads. But how do you examine beads, Maharaj? Then he said to me that when you buy the beads, you, you put a bowl of water, and if this bead floats, no good. If it sinks, good. So I have examined all the 108 beads, and then one extra. Uh, and uh, I have given to Holy Mother, uh, and you go uh, and uh, take from her hand. So I, I went. Then there were some ladies there. there. Uh, mother came on the porch. Then I asked the Mother how we shall meditate. Then she uh, 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 gave me the right advice. So here, uh, 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 at that time, Ho Holy Mother said to me, uh, if you have any difficulty, uh, you ask raspberry, uh, raspberry, any spiritual questions, you see. Uh, he, Mother did not mention Swami Shardhananda because I was very afraid of Swami Shardhananda. The reason is this, uh, uh, when I went to see Holy Mother, I left my shoes at the threshold, you see. Uh, a strong voice, grave voice. Uh, who is the boy who has kept his shoes at the, at the gate, at, at the doorstep? I came. I came uh, and we say, oh, why did you not keep your shoes under the staircase? Why you are so careless? Uh, so I said, Maharaj, I did not know. Please excuse me. But uh, he created a fear in my mind. Then. Uh, uh, one time I went to see Holy Mother and came on the road, called, at that time called one Mukherjee Day, on the road I was going to bow down to her. Uh, why? You, you were so anxious to bow, bow down to be here. Why not wait and bow down when I go uh, to, to the Bodhan uh, uh, and uh, remain seated, you see? I did not know the custom when a sadhu or a holy man walks, you should not bow down. Because uh, later I could understand, because he had um, called uh, uh, rheumatism. He had rheumatism, and he, he had to bless and, and to stop, uh, and she, she, uh, he, may, he may fall down. Uh, that when I became his attendant, then I understood that. But at that time I did not know that, so I was terribly afraid. It is due to the grace of, of Holy Mother. I can say this distance between Swami Shardarananda and myself disappeared. Uh, so, so, uh, so, so when uh, I, I was in Udbudan, uh, I was uh, I became as a worker, you see. Uh, I, I again, I, I went to bow down to him every day. Uh, no, no, it means the first day, as he used to do in, in, uh, in Belurmat. We used to go to Mahapurushmar after meditation. But Swami Shara, again, 
uh, with a grave voice, said to me that um, those who are here uh, should not come to bow down to me every day. They will come on special days, Ramakrishna's birthday, Holy Mother's birthday, um, uh, Shamiji's birthday, and uh, Durga Puja time, and so on and so forth. Uh, so here, we, you know, uh, again, I, uh, uh, a kind of fear came to my mind, because uh, nobody likes to be scolded. What does likes to do? <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you see, I am here, uh, I am, but when I go to Portland, uh, I may be different. <laughs> Here I have to practice self I have to practice self restraint. <laughs> so anyway, it, it, it is it is a good opportunity for me to speak to you about these great souls. You see, then one day Swami Shardananda Swami called me. You see. Will you be able to write letters for me? Yes. Yeah. Maharaj, yes. But always remember, whatever transpires here, you must not tell even your best friends when you go down. Right. I will do my best. Then uh, uh, one time Shami Sharanda wrote uh, to one of his disciples. He wanted that Shami Sharanda himself will, uh, will, uh, uh, will write that letter. Uh, but he said, in that letter he said, I am, I am writing this letter to a person who will not give a single word that I have described even at the cost of his life. Yes. It is trust that begets trust. So this is the, the reason why uh, 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 Shardananda uh, will always remain an abiding treasure in my heart. And he lived an ideal monastic life. Uh, and uh, that is the reason why I, I pay my tribute as Swami Prabhananda, uh, respected, uh, called Maharaj, his guru. Similarly, I would like my best to respect Holy Mother, then Maharaj as the guru of Brahmacharya, and Swami Sharananda as the guru of sannyas. Now, when you enter a monastery, you, you have to undergo a certain amount of discipline, especially the discipline you call, you make a distinction between sacred and secular, you see. This distinction must be obliterated when you join a monastery. As for example, when I joined the monastery in 1921, a senior Swami, he, if, if uh, any, any of the brahmacharis had some kind of degree, college degree, like BA or MA, he, uh, he would give s some kind of work so, so that he will learn the call, what tapasya is without going to call Rishikesh. What do I mean by that? You are given some work which you do not like. And second, a thing may create difficulty to your personal self. So, so that Swami said to me, you come with me, you see. Yeah. The cow shed, we had a cow shed all that. <coughs> now, the cow dung, the cow dung, yeah. no gloves or anything. <laughs> <laughs> you, you put it, you are, put a kind of, make a dough-like thing with your hand, make it round, and there was a kind of fence, and throw it, <laughs> throw it against that. It will stick, then the sun will come, the sunshine will come, it, it, it will be used for a fuel, called cow dung cake. I was doing that, you see. Then I was thinking, what good of my reading this Kant and Hegel? <laughs> Uh, Plato and Aristotle, <laughs> they know, they, uh, uh, so at, at first I was a little dissatisfied. <laughs> but it, uh, it is, uh, then I, uh, Mahapurush Maharaj, I mentioned Mahapurush Maharaj, uh, 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 you see, 
if I do any work in the shrine, I, I will like it. I will be very happy with it. But this work, uh, because uh, I was afraid, I had a little uh, uh, hygienic uh, uh, concern all that. But this <laughs> may, may create trouble and all that. Uh, but uh, Mahapurush, uh, about Mahapurush Maharaj, uh, 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 he said, it, it depends upon the attitude. You are thinking a cow dung, but I think that this would be used for Thakur's uh, 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 kitchen. And, uh, 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 and it, uh, when rice is cooked uh, uh, with the heat, uh, which I call temperate heat, or uh, 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 soft heat, it, it, uh, uh, the rice will become like flour. Why don't you see that this is, it, it will uh, 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 help me to have a kind of blessing from Sri Ramakrishna by serving him in a small way. So here he there he mentioned because it is Swamiji's monastery. He, uh, he, he used to say, uh, Swamiji used to say, uh, from the mending the shoes to to to, to, uh, to recite the chundi part, juto juto shalai thike chundi part. That means no work here is secular. No work, you can say, is a mean work. So that is the reason why we have to call spiritualize our day-to-day -day life. And these great souls are exemplars. You see, take for example, Swami Bhavaram Maharaj, Bhavaram Swami Premananda. He will be always uh, 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 called the, cutting the vegetables, dressing the vegetables. He will be there, and he will talk. He will talk about Ramakrishna. We will talk about Swamiji, we will talk about Holy Mother, you see. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, and Brahmacharya uh, uh, or Swamis will, will work with him, but if they, if one of them uh, 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 is little and inadvertent, is a little careless, then the, 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 the hand will be cut or finger will be cut, and Bhavra Maharaj will give the scolding. I have asked you to cut vegetables, not cut your finger. Uh, yeah, you t you take this uh, t twenty ten cents or twenty five cents and go to Calcutta and find a job. <laughs> so anyway, uh, when I uh, uh, came to Udbodhan, then Swami Shardananda uh, uh, became like my father, very kind and affectionate. When I I I began to serve him, you see. That is what you read in the Bhagavad Gita, Tadviddhi Pranipate na Praniprasne na Shevaya. If you want to realize God, you, you should uh, show your reverence to an illumined soul. Pranipraśna sometimes asks some questions, how you can develop your spiritual life on a firm foundation and Shiva, personal service. So you, you find that uh, I had the opportunity to serve, uh, you, know, you see, uh, 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 Maharaj, you see. Uh, I have the opportunity to serve Swami uh, 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 Sardananda, you see. Uh, uh, Maharaj's body, one time Maharaj asked me, uh, Are you, uh, do you know how to massage? I said, yes, Maharaj. Then I did. But he, he, uh, Ma Maharaj's body was very soft. I thought I would break the bones and, and I will be in trouble. <laughs> uh, but Maharaj said, give more pressure, more pressure, you see. The, then afterwards he said, uh, you are too good, <laughs> you are too good. Then uh, another bala, uh, 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 another person came there and said, let him do it. But Swami Shardanda was very, uh, very, uh, uh, very kind. Uh, they, you have a miracle hand. Uh, he, he was suffering from rheumatism. But uh, I pray to Sri Ramakrishna that he, if uh, he goes to sleep, I can also take a little rest, you see. And, <laughs> and Sri Ramakrishna, uh, uh, Sri Ramakrishna listened to my prayer. His body was very strong. He was very, uh, 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 he was very strong, so it, 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 it was very difficult for me <laughs> to cope with, with my job. But uh, I will say that uh, 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 Shardhananda, you see, uh, 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 I, was, uh, it, I was the assistant to the manager. I, was the, I had to do my, I call the, the selling books and also the, give accounts to the manager, you see. So one day Swami Shardhananda, 
said, you are my bodyguard. You must come along with me. I am going to Belur Mart. So, so I left everything and went. But manager came and, and inquired about me. And uh, I went without his permission. Then uh, next day, my job was gone. Another person took it. Then I went to Shami Shardhananda. I said, Maharaj, I have no job, so let me go to Belur Mart. Because there will be um, many jobs given by uh, the manager. Then Shami Shardhananda said to me, Go and tell the manager. In Bengali, he said, Raju Kutrami Nahi Bhikari Pitar Dhanemur Purna Udhikar. This uh, is taken from Grish Chandra Kosh's uh, uh, called uh, the, the, uh, drama, called Buddha Charit, Life of Buddha. Buddha renounced the world. Then he practiced austerities for six years in, in Buddhakaya. And then he attained called Nirvana, the illumination of Freemason. Then, after two, two, uh, probably more than 12 years or something, uh, he came back to Kapilavastu. Buddha's wife did not go, but he sent, she sent Yasodhara sent her son to Buddha. Then the boy, Rahula, said to his mother, if I go to, to the holy man, if you ask me, who are you, what shall I say? And Yasodhara taught Rahula, Raja Putrami, that means I am a prince, I am not a beggar. I claim my heritage. Then Buddha gave him called ochre cloth. His son became uh, a monk. Uh, so Shami Sharanda quoted uh, uh, Girish Baba's Buddha Chari. Uh, so I also quoted, uh, so just repeated, echoed, Raja Putra Minahi Bhikari, Pitar Dhanemor, Purno Dhikar. The manager understood that uh, I have got decision from the Supreme Court. <laughs> I need not have to go anywhere. Then, then I, uh, I, I, I began to do my duties. He, he did not object or anything. So here you find, with, when you live with these great souls, you see, you learn, learn something in a very unconscious way, you see. Uh, one time uh, Golapma, uh, Golapma uh, uh, said, you boys are making so much noise. Swami Shardhanda is meditating. Uh, 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 you, you should be very uh, careful. But she was not satisfied with uh, uh, scolding us. Uh, she, uh, she went to Shami Shardhananda. Well, Sharat, uh, these boys uh, create lots of trouble and they make noise uh, uh, and you should um, uh, scold them. But Shami Shardhananda said, my boys are boys. They will make a little noise. But when I meditate, I tell my mind, mind your own business. <laughs> I, I have not, I have not uh, heard anything, uh, anything uh, from from downstairs. You see, so here this is you know, the, uh, the, the training, the, the training that when you try to meditate, you see there. Uh, you, know, you see, Maharaj used to tell us, you see, work and worship must go together. You see, uh, work and worship. And so when you are work, you give your total mind to work. But when you are meditating. You forget, forget all your uh, 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 call, uh, duties and responsibilities connected with the external world of time and uh, world of becoming. Uh, and that is the, uh, the reason why you see, meditation plays a very renunciation and meditation. Renunciation is a negative discipline. Meditation is uh, the positive discipline. And that in order to meditate, one should um, be instructed from an illumined teacher, uh, uh, called the Guru. Uh, the concept of Guru uh, uh, is the gift of the Vedanta Shastra, but the concept of Ishta, chosen idea, is the gift of the Tantra Shastra. And uh, Sri Ramakrishna, as you find in the science, called unified field. When you think of unified field, it is the gift of called Einstein. The Einstein, he say called gravitational field and electromagnetic field. 
If Einstein was successful, he would have uh, only got called prakriti, means the universal force or universe unconscious. But Sri Ramakrishna has come to awaken the Kundalini Shakti, or Chit Shakti, or Brahma Shakti, or Atma Shakti. Uh, so by splitting the atom, you can create hydrogen bomb, but you cannot create a, a new life. A new life given to God and service of mankind, and that is why, in my talk on Thursday, I said the West needs the concept of God as Mother. Mother has nothing to do with what they call feminine principle or matriarchy. Mother is the concept what they call the dynamic aspect of Brahman or Shakti, Chit Shakti, Chit Shakti. And so, Chit Shakti, Chit Shakti is the Kundalini Shakti. In every person there is the infinite energy lying asleep. And to awaken that universe, uh, uh, infinite energy, renunciation, detachment, uh, life of holiness is very important. That is why Christ has said, you see, um, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. So, so the, the, that purity of heart, uh, comes uh, from life of detachment and also life of meditation and contemplation on the chosen ideal, you see. Now, uh, a chosen ideal, when we speak about the chosen ideal, uh, uh, it, is, it is the the shakti, dynamic aspect. Uh, in a sense, you can call it, it is the personal aspect of God, personal aspect of God. And the Guru is the symbol of the suprapersonal aspect of God. Uh, the West has not accepted the suprapersonal or impersonal aspect of God. West has accepted what you call the personal aspect of God. When you, any theologian um, interpret uh, called the, the, uh, as a God the Father, it is a, a, a God uh, as transcendent as well, immanent. But uh, when you think that unmoved mover, as, uh, as called, uh, Aristotle speaks of, there you, uh, you find uh, you change and changefulness. You are accepting both. But Schrodinger said, our consciousness is singular, never dual or plural. Shankara also says, when you are uh, seeing uh, called uh, a snake, you do not see the rope. When you see the rope, you do not see the snake. Our consciousness, singular here, means we have to transcend. We have to transcend what you call intellectual plane of consciousness and reach a transcendental plane. And that transcendental plane again, when you consider your self to be finite and God infinite, then it will call call Savikalpa Samadhi. When, but when you think in terms of Nirvikalpa Samadhi, then there is absolute oneness. Swami Vivekananda preached divinity of man and oneness of existence. When he spoke about oneness of existence, he, uh, 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 he, I, I, I believe he thought of the essence, you see. Uh, that is what Maharaj used to say, tell me where matter ends and spirit begins. We, if you think of matter, you are thinking of changefulness of this phenomenal universe. But when you are thinking of uh, the essence, then you have to think of pure consciousness, you see. That is, Keshav Chandra Sen um, said to uh, Sri Ramakrishna, you are uh, an idolater Sindhu. Uh, and then Sri Ramakrishna replied, my mother is not Mrinmai, my mother is Chinmai, uh, full of consciousness, uh, consciousness. And she uh, uh, repeated three times, Kali, 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 you see. That means she had a first experience of God as mother means personal aspect of God. Mother is also Shaguna as well as Nirguna. When you have called Shavikalpa Samadhi, mother is Shaguna. But when you have Nirvikalpa Samadhi, the mother is Nirguna, you see. Uh, so uh, this uh, 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 thought came to my mind when Swami Sharananda fell sick in the year 1927, uh, 6th of August. Uh, he usually, at the time of Aruti, he, uh, he will say, go to the shrine and uh, attend the, uh, the Aruti. That means uh, sing 
खंड नव बंधन ब्रेकर अफ दि वर्ल्ड चेन ओम रिंग रीत दें सर्वमंगल मंगल बट दैट डे सेट वेट आई मस्ट फिनिश अल दि लेटर्स इन दि मर्निंग ही केम टू दि श्राइन केम टू दि श्राइन वेन्ट एंड केम बैक वेन्ट एंड केम बैक then after the harati uh, then uh, usually he would go down but uh, he had a stroke he had a stroke uh, then hori prema or some hori prema there myself uh, there uh, put, put him on, well, which is hori prema put him on the bed uh, on the bed then he, he said don't make any noise i'll go down soon uh, but uh, uh, we Uh, immediately we called dr durga pada ghosh uh, but he uh, uh, he came uh, then he asked the only uh, we had to call the uh, 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 ice ice is to be put on the head so uh, uh, i went to bodu krishna pal's place uh, which is a dagi store and so, um, uh, so I, i i brought uh, 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 ice uh, Containers, colleagues. So, uh, so uh, then the Belur Mart, uh, many families came, many families. The constant ice was put on that. Um, he could not speak for 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 twelve for twelve days. Uh, families came from different parts of of, of India. Um, then, uh, but he was he was conscious. You see. When Charanamrita was brought, he took from the left and right hand and put his leaves. I was meditating in the shrine, and uh, the all of a sudden, this verse from the Bhagavad Gita came. You see, that verse is "Na sato vidyate bhavo, na bhavo vidyate shata, uvayoro vidristan tostaneo tatta darshavi." You see, If, that means that which exists will never become non-existent. that which is not existing will never be existent only a man of enlightenment uh, can realize the distinction between real existence and phenomenal existence in other words anything that changes will belong to the category of phenomenal ex- existence if philosophers of france they speak about existence but existence without essence but shankara of any parts of ex- existence with the essence in other words when you identify with your psychophysical being we are connecting ourselves with the called the maya means appearance not the essence so in in maya that is the appearance as the essence we must be like a swan we will have to take the water will remove the water or eschew the water and take the essence or the milk so the milk that is called paramahamsa the paramahamsa is the one if you put Oh, milk and water he will take only the swan will take only the milk and eschew the wa- water similarly the nama rupa or the f- phenomenal existence will have to transcend and realize the essence uh, and the essence uh, of a hindu or a christian or a jew or a gentile is infinite existence infinite knowledge and infinite bliss so now uh, it is became a little uh, you know, called Uh, 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 philosophical, you see. But now I will speak because you see the uh, 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 one Dutch boy. Uh, uh, he came from Greets. Uh, uh, he greeted me. Uh, uh, that <coughs> so. I came in a Dutch liner, right? I have to bring it down because you see, it becomes a little lost here. <laughs> uh, with lost here, I, one I think when I was in Seattle, they say, "Sami, will you sit?" I said, "No, I will stand. I will stand erect, and I will stand on my own feet." Because Sami Sharan, the one time said to me, "Stand on your own feet. Don't be like a, like a creeper, always reclining on a big tree." You see. Uh, so it is. Uh, the, so. Uh, 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 I, I, I do not ma- want to mention the whole story. Uh, so I had to get the permission of my general secretary, uh, uh, Shami Madhavananda. I said, Maharaj, Shami Koyalashananda asked me to go with Krishna Murthy, uh, not J. J. Krishna Murthy, uh, 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 Doctor Krishna Murthy, uh, 
but I need your blessing. Not this side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. yeah. Don't start with this side. Achha. Achha, you put in a little. That's okay. Then, oh, then Shami um, uh, uh, Madhavanda said, don't worry about blessings. I will send blessings by mail. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I came to New York. With it. You can put a little more. So, I do not feel trapped now. So now, we came from, I came from Madras to Colombo, and our boats started on a particular day. It was a Dutch liner that I am talking about. A Dutch, it was a Dutch liner. You see, there is also, if you see, a Hindu boy came here. One or two questions. Yeah, question. Uh, then the, uh, the Dutch liner, when he was there, everything was all right. Suez Canal, then the, uh, the Indian Ocean, all things were. But when uh, our boat came to, called Mid-Atlantic, there was storm. Storm. Storm, great storm. And I, uh, the passengers said they, they were very afraid. They were very afraid. I too. But no, no, I was not afraid. Uh, I, would, I did not fall sick, you know, see. But at night, at twelve o'clock, uh, when I heard that the, uh, one ship, uh, one ship, a small boat has disappeared and this and that, uh, at night, twelve o'clock, you see, my uh, suitcase um, well, uh, was moving from one side of the cabin to the other side. And I was mm, mm, uh, imagining, as it were, the, the captain is giving uh, the call. Captain is giving the call that you come to the deck and 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 take a um, kind of boat, uh, kind of for safety. Uh, and I was thinking if the boat capsizes, <coughs> yeah, then there will be. S uh, I can swim uh, in a river or a lake, but not in ocean. I'm not, I, I don't know. And it is too cold, and there may be shark. You see. <laughs> <laughs> then I was thinking, why Shami Nikilanda grudged? I I wanted to come by air. <laughs> and he is talking, no, you go by this, it will be uh, economical. He thought also that, uh, he thought also because you cannot stay. And so I spend money <laughs> unnecessarily. <laughs> so, so the, a, 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 anyway, I, I read Chandi that day, that morning I read, you see. Uh, 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 the other day I mentioned I read Chandi when Shami, Shohananda had to undergo an operation. Why? Because, uh, see, uh, uh, when Swamiji was very sick in Rishikesh, you see, Swamiji was very sick in Rishikesh, Swami, Swami, you know, you see, uh, lost out of consciousness, lost out of consciousness. Uh, but a, a holy man came, gave, gave some medicine. I have heard from Shannal Moshe, who used to come. Uh, uh, that, that helped him. They came back. But when Swamiji came to consciousness, he, uh, he saw in that cave, in the Rishi case, Swami Shardanando was weeping, and Swami Turiyanando was reading Chandi. Yeah. So, I, 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 so I had some kind of faith in, in, in um, reciting the glory of the Divine Mother, as I endeavor to uh, avoid any danger or difficulty in this. And this concept of Mother, the other day in the convent I mentioned, when sickness comes, illness comes, what do you do? You have to think that mother comes in the form of good, in the form of evil. Mother comes in the form of health, mother comes in the form of disease. Where the coming of the mother is the symbol you transcend. Transcend pleasure and pain, transcend life and death. You attain mother coming, you attain immortality. You attain freedom from fear. You attain or realization of of, the, of your real self, which is indestructible, which is immortal, which is divine, which is absolutely pure, stainless and perfect. So that is the, 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 the reason why the, 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 the mother, ma, the concept of mother is, is the concept of immortality, the concept of realization of the Atman uh, 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 and the Guru Bhakti. You see, I have seen Shyam Prabhupananda, uh, what a tremendous Guru Bhakti had, you see. Uh, I mentioned that one time here, he yeah, had to undergo an operation, and he was uh, very much worried. <coughs> then he, uh, he resigned to 
महाराज महाराज आई कैनॉट आई कैनॉट वरी एनी मोर यू सी एज इट महाराज सेट डोंट बी अफ्रेड ठाकुर इज देयर ही विल प्रोटेक्ट यू सो हियर वी फाइंड श्री राम कृष्ण इज लिविंग प्रेजेंस होली मदर इज शावरिंग हर ग्रेस ऑन ईच वन ऑफ अस एंड टुडे वी मे नॉट बी एबल टू Uh, realize but let us imagine today's imagination is tomorrow's realization so imagine the divine presence of sri ramakrishna in the altar and in our hearts and through the grace of sri ramakrishna we will be able to accomplish the, our cherished goal we, all, we are all devotees we have come here to realize god and uh, uh, and through the grace of the divine mother or to the grace of sri ramakrishna impossible will become possible uh, uh, so that is the reason why you uh, see i i i thought i would be able to come uh, uh, to uh, to the uh, to uh, to this uh, beautiful place you see uh, uh, but through the grace of the divine mother all things have been taken care of uh, and that is the reason why uh, डॉक्टर Uh, had to undergo a great uh, uh, difficulty you can say the operation had to undergo an operation uh, th- then as a divine mother holy mother uh, appeared uh, it may be my imagination uh, uh, don't be afraid uh, everything will come out well uh, 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 and so uh, uh, this uh, uh, in uh, therefore in storms of stress one compass guides and that compass to me is holy mother my guru my ishta and and i so i commend you to the care of holy mother as well as thakur to enlighten your heart and remove all the obstacles in your path so that you see the the promised land the promised land is not outside promised land is inside the kingdom of heaven or the promised land is realization of god and if we can realize god through the grace of sri ramakrishna will be real devotees real followers of our great master as, as in the language of sri ramakrishna as a lamb cannot burn without oil similarly uh, an awakened soul cannot live without god and so we need called ascent of of man and descent of god so the both should be combined that is the reason why buddhism speaks Uh, uh, in a most prominent way about self effort christianity speaks of divine grace but sri ram krishna speaks the combination of human effort and divine grace and when we can perform sadhana uh, where we prepare our consciousness for reading the grace of our beloved lord who will never fail us but inspire us and make us worthy to attain immortality and jivan mukti and that is what i uh, wanted to speak about shami turiyananda when i met shami turiyananda i saw everything okay everything okay even the fan fan is a kind of pulling fan is all garua cloth yeah. and he brought it to me uh, from bhotri hari bhoge rog bhayam वित्ते चौरभम माने च्युति भयम सर्ववस्तु भयान्वित वैराग्यमेवाभयम रिनाउंसिएशन अलोन विल गिव फियरनेस रिनाउंसिएशन रियल मीनिंग ऑफ दिस डीफिकेशन यू सी व्हेन यू सी बिहाइंड द नेम एंड फॉर्म द एसेंस द एसेंस दैट मींस द सच्चिदानंद एक्जिस्टेंस एब्सोल्युट नॉलेज ऑफ स्टूड बीस एब्सोल्युट दैट यू हैव टू रियलाइज थ्रू डीप मेडिटेशन एंड आल्सो सर्विस ऑफ एवरी ह्यूमन बीइंग as a symbol and expression of the divine spirit so shami turiyanando so turiyanando quoted uh, uh, but the, 
I, I could not be present at his last day, because Swami Shardam did not go, obviously. But I have heard Swami Turiyananda uh, repeating Brahma Shatta, Jagat Shatta. When he used the word Jagat Shatta, world is real. Shankara says Brahma Shatta, Jagat Mitha, world is real. Wa- Shankara is using Nama Rupa. But when Swami Sh- Turiyananda is speaking Jagat Shatta, he is uh, thinking of the essence. Uh, and the essence, you know, to realize we have to meditate uh, 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 as the Guru is the symbol of Nirguna Brahman in the head and called the Shakti or called the Easter, which is called the personal God in, in the heart center. And Guru and Easter, when both are united, then the individual soul also will realize that he is, he is the Atman, he is the real self, he is Shattam, Gyanam, Anantam Brahma. Then he realizes, I have eternal truth. I am eternal knowledge and I am a perennial bliss. So these are the things that we learn by sitting at the feet of the direct disciples of the Master. They have not left us. They are still with us. And if we are ready, that means we perform sadhana, they will help in a tremendous way, which cannot be described in war, but it can be felt in the very core of our heart. And that is the uh, reason why I, I, I will never forget Swami Sharadananda for scolding me and also helping me to come to America and talk to you in a way which will be helpful to me and perhaps will be helpful to you all. Question not necessary or anything. Yeah, it's important. Let me see two, three questions. Samples. It's a question you can ask. I'm not taking today. Ask who is God. All right. Who wants to stand it? And if I want to. All right, Maharaj. Not necessary. I say. Give it a chance. Tomorrow. What time it is? One hour. Nine o'clock already. One hour. One hour ago. One hour. Yes. Yeah. You can take another five, ten minutes. Yeah, I can, I can. I, now, the, this, so, uh, one thing I have to tell you the, about Rajberi Maharaj, I forgot. Uh, uh, Rajberi Maharaj took me to Swami Turiyananda. He wanted me. Arupananda. Arupananda. There, um, uh, I, I met Swami Turiyananda. Turiyananda. Uh, then he was to hold the class, hold the class on Bhagavatam, where well, the Lolit Maharaj, Lolit Maharaj was doing that, Mahapurush Maharaj called him, and it was Durga Puja time, before Durga Puja. So Lolit Maharaj um, had to come to Belur Mat. Then Swami Jagadananda, in one of the classes, that is the I am talking about, uh, uh, one of the classes, it, uh, Hori Maharaj mentioned, such a uh, jnani, uh, but, but also a great devotee, that I am talking. Uh, Hori Maharaj mentioned that his first place of pilgrimage was in Puri, yeah, Puri, and he was going to the temple of, of Jagannath. You see, there you find this Chaitanya is telling uh, uh, Jagannath Swami Naina uh, Patogami uh, Bhavatu Me. You see, uh, when I, I am seeing you with with my uh, called physical eyes, when I will receive with my spiritual eye. You see. So Jagannath Swami, Nayana Patagami Bhautume. So anyway, Swami Turiyananda was going and Thakur, Sri Ramakrishna was coming after Darshana. After Darshana, he was coming. He went to bow down to Sri Ramakrishna, but Sri Ramakrishna disappeared. Therefore, you, you see, God plays a little hide and seek. See, with his devotees. Those devotees say, oh, uh, uh, God does not come, what shall I do? I, uh, don't give up. That is the idea. Go, don't give up. You see, uh, uh, see to be, one has to be, love is patient. You see, love is patient. Uh, uh, it is Paul used to say, love is patient and long-suffering. Uh, but I do not think it is suffering. Uh, it is not suffering. Really, for the sake of God, uh, you see, uh, suffering uh, uh, it, it loses all its sting. Mm-hmm. Uh, it is a joy. It is a joy uh, which will bring greater joy. 
Swami Turiyananda, who we call Hori Maharaj, he mentioned to me this idea. You want to join the Ramakrishna mission, it is like a machine. It will, it will chisel out all your angularities. Are you ready? But at that time I had got, got great love for the independence of India, you see, that I, I, I did not want to. Uh, then Swami Nikilananda came, that we, you are Holy Mother's I am also, we, let us see first, uh, uh, independence of India, then we join, or like that. Uh, but uh, Rajmari Maharaj, he, he used to, um, um, uh, call sea palm, sea palm, uh, I'm telling you. Uh, so when I said, Maharaj, I, I'm going to back, I'm going back to Calcutta, I have to study, I, I, uh, and then after India attains independence, then I will join. Uh, he was a little disappointed and also uh, he was uh, disheartened. Then he, he said to me, then he went to his room in Adhoitasham, he went to his room, magnifying glass, and he said, uh, I want to read your palm. Uh, so he, he was reading the palm. Uh, all of a sudden he jumped. Uh, this is the called line of Vairagya. Uh, a line of renunciation. You may go, but you'll have to uh, come back. You see. Uh, he, and also, he, he, uh, he said to me, you will live long. He, he said that. Uh, so I had no faith, but now I have to believe. <laughs> in, in obviously, in obviously, I had no faith. I thought this is superstition, mere superstition. <laughs> but uh, but uh, uh, anyway, uh, I am really uh, called uh, grateful. Uh, to Shami, uh, called Krishna Maharaj Shami Dhirananda uh, for helping me to attain initiation from Holy Mother. And I am helpful, uh, I am very grateful to Shami Arupananda uh, for uh, encouraging me to, to live this monastic life and gave me assurance through a superstitious way <laughs> that uh, you have got a line of Vairagya, you will have to come back to the monastery all that. he has to uh, convert his work into worship. Uh, he must be absolutely unselfish. To work of the right, not the fruits thereof, you see, Bhagavad Gita says. Then he has to think that I am an instrument and, and God is the real doer. I am instrument, just a, a, a pen uh, 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 writes, but pen does not take the credit. The credit is given by the writer. Similarly, when a person uh, through karma yoga, his path is karma yoga, then he has to uh, purify his mind, purify his mind through karma yoga. That means he will become unselfish. But real unselfishness comes when we find that behind selflessness there is the, the eternal self. When ami mole kuchi bejanjal, that means when you negate your changeful, finite self, you also realize one day that the infinite self is behind that has prompted that you are doing good to another person. Why? Because you have made you have made a fundamental mistake. I and my neighbor are different, and therefore one has to accept all the oneness. In reality, there is no distinction between you and me, because I am a monk and you are an American. But because the, either you may think as the essence, you have to realize the essence. Behind your call name and form, there is the essence. So, so through unselfishness, you must discover, one has to discover his real nature. Your real nature is something which cannot be limited by race, nation, or uh, call any kind of limitation which the, the world of time, space, and causation will bring in our consciousness. 
So the essence is to be ac- accepted. That is what Ami Mole is going to do. When the ego dies, so any per- person who uh, wants to do uh, good to the world, he should think that the, the background of my neighbor or background of my friend and my background is the same. That is what I, I, I got from uh, Maharaj. Maharaj one time, Sri Brahmananda one time put a mask of a tiger, you see, and, and the children, grandchildren of Balrambus came and they were afraid. They went away. But I was not afraid. I know it is, it is a play. Similarly, when you, uh, when one knows that, uh, uh, that uh, uh, I am serving the, the Lord in me as well as in all people, uh, they, then detachment comes and realization of the Atman comes. The Atman is universal, Atman is immortal, Atman is changeless. So through Karma Yoga, Swamiji, when you use the Karma Yoga, you, you see, there, you, 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 Sri Ramakrishna, yeah, because uh, uh, Sri Ramakrishna, uh, it is uh, uh, taught Swamiji, Shiva Gyane Jiva Shiva. Whenever you do good to any person, uh, it is for your own good. Uh, why that? It is given an opportunity uh, to serve God in the form, in the form of man or woman or Hindu or Christian or Jew or Gentile or lowly or lonely or lost. It is divine, it is the attitude. So a karma yogi should, should take the attitude of, uh, of oneness, of existence. And that existence is not material existence but spiritual existence. And so uh, if this attitude uh, uh, remains strong in the, in the mind of the individual, then uh, as I, in our uh, uh, Konkal Shivasram on Shamiji's birthday, a uh, 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 worker or Kali Swami, he, uh, 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 he gives a flower, uh, no, garland, in, in, in a, of, a, of the patient, and then gives the food, the, the food, uh, the right kind of food which he likes, and also makes a little aruti. It, it is the, uh, it, it is the uh, seeing God in man, not only seeing God in the depth of meditation with closed eyes, but seeing God means the infinite spirit with open <coughs> eyes. That is also Christ said, the least that you have done to others you have done to me. That means you have to see God in every person, uh, uh, either as an uh, indwelling spirit or uh, the essence of pure being, undivided consciousness and eternal bliss. So, so this is the a message with Swami Vivekananda. Uh, Shankara's order, we usually, uh, 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 through meditation, contemplate Swamiji, through Karma Yoga also. When you do any service to any person, you think of the, the husband sh- should see God in the wife as the Divine Mother. Oh, wife should see God in the husband as Shiva and Shakti. You, it may be difficult, but it is not impossible. An exemplar is... <laughs> <laughs> And Sri Ramakrishna is the standing example. He worships the Holy Mother uh, as the Divine Mother. And Holy Mother also always should say, Gurudev, 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 uh, my Guru, my uh, uh, awakener of my eyes, uh, my chosen ideal. So the, it is deification. Real meaning of uh, renunciation is deification. With closed eyes or open eyes, we, every person that we meet is the face of our beloved the heart of our beloved. Tomorrow, as I announced, 11 o'clock is the uh, talk given by the Swami. I will chant more. So this subject is go- goal and the way? Or the goal and the way? Or the yeah, this topic is the goal and the way. The goal and the way. Hmm. Brahmanandam paramasukadam kevalam jnanamurtim Dandvatitam gaganasadrisham tattamasyadi laksham ekam nittam bimalamachalam sarvadhi sakshibhutam bhavatitam tinarhitam sadgurum tang namami We salute the leader of our souls through whose grace our ignorance is dispelled who is beyond good and evil, pleasure and pain, life and death and all the pairs of opposites. We recognize him as the only witness of the changing phenomena of the universe. May we through His grace see what is good and spiritual, 
May we through his grace hear what is noble and uplifting. May we through his grace go beyond darkness and illusion and realize the truth in this life. Om peace, peace, peace. Peace be unto us, peace be unto all mankind. Hari Om, Hari Om, Hari Om, Tatsat.